in this ukulele video, we got one of a kind. This is the first one I've ever had. Pepe Romero Jr., <laughs> the man himself, custom galele or guitar lele or gita lele or whatever you like to call it. Whew, this is it. I literally just picked this up about an hour ago. Handmade by Pepe himself. Uh, this thing is unbelievable. I know a lot of you have the tiny tenor six string, the Daniel Ho version. Those things are awesome. Wow. I'm going to go over, I'm going to play this thing. This one, by the way, I'm calling untouchable. And since you're here, <laughs> it's really cool if you want to be part of the You Collect the Pros revolution that we got going on here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification. You stay up to date on all the guitar lately, ukulele, and baritone reviews and tutorials we do right here on the channel. All right, so there is a difference between a kind of a mass produced instrument, let's say, even the solid wood ones, and a custom made ukulele by one of the great masters in the business. So if you don't know much about the Romero family, they are a long line of probably the most famous classical guitar players in the world from Pepe Romero Sr. to all Pepe's uncles and family and cousins. But Pepe Jr., he decided he's gonna start making instruments. And so he's one of the world, world class <laughs> I just give you a little taste there. World, world class classical guitar makers in the world that also happens to make ukuleles and guitar layers as well. So we're gonna go over this. And by the way, this one is available for sale at store.ukulelepros.com. Just check this out. <laughs> Like literally the whole thing is vibrating and it's awesome. All right. This thing is really unique. This thing is really special. You got this amazing spruce top. I mean, it's just, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, I know the spruce top is, can be a little plain looking as far as it doesn't have the, the stuff like the, the coal wood, you know, you want that wood grain and all that stuff. I understand that, but you got to understand this spruce top is going to be your best sound. It's going to be the brightest, the loudest, the fullest sounding. And that's why so many guitars, so many instruments are made out of the spruce top. It just happens that the ukulele community as a whole loves the koa, which again, it's awesome. Koa wood's amazing, but really builders and players, they love the spruce. Now check this out. It has this really cool purfling. It's like this rope purfling. It's something I've never seen before. It's actually custom and Pepe is telling me um, just how many little tiny pieces of wood it takes to do that purfling, not only there, but also then this really nice rosette as well. Now check out this flamed maple. I mean, this is, this is really gorgeous. <laughs> and it's really, it makes a big difference in the sound as well, okay? So when you have this, this maple combined with this spruce top, you're getting this big full sound. It's it's a crispness that crispness that you just don't hear on most ukuleles or guitar lays, right? Now the back is just a stunning. I mean, look at this. Look at this back. I mean, this is all taken from Pepe's stock of wood. He's got just an amazing collection of wood that he has and it's just just I don't know what to say. What, what else is there to say? It's just gorgeous. This thing, 
sounds amazing. It sounds better here to my ear than it will on the recording, trust me. Now, I wanna talk about a little bit about this French polish that he does, okay? But let me, let me play something else. Let me do a little finger style piece I wrote. I mean, I'm just, just getting used to this thing. Like I've literally just been picking it up. Can you imagine just having it for a little while and just really bonding with an instrument like this? It's really it's really amazing. Now, before we get to the rest, I wanna talk about this French polish. And by the way, this video may be a little long, but it's not like these are come in. I mean, this literally, I would say we've been waiting on this thing for, I don't know, at least six months, probably longer. I remember him starting it for us here. This, you like the pros when I say us. Um, the store for you, really, because you're going to be the one taking us home. And it's just it's a process to really process these custom instruments. You don't pump them out. Okay, they're quality. They're inspected the whole time. They're in the hands of the master. So you're going to get one of the greatest instruments you're ever going to play. Now, this has what's called a French polish on it. There's not many people in the world that are doing this polish. Now, you may look at it, it may be hard to kind of tell, but what this French polish is, is it's a very, very, uh, it, it's glossy, it looks kind of glossy, but it's a, it's hand put on, and it's literally, they, they use like this little tiny rag, and they literally put the polish on by hand over and over again. They gotta put a coat on, they let it dry, they put another coat on, it's just built up, but it's so thin that it takes I mean, it takes weeks just to do it. It's not like you just put, you know, spray it. It takes weeks to put in. It's a very special uh, polish. And the reason is it affects the sound, okay? The high gloss that we all love, we love the high gloss, it actually can stifle the wood a little bit. This French polish, it lets the wood breathe. Okay? You're going to get the full sound of it. And Pepe, I've known him for a while now. He's all about the sound. It's all about that sound that he gets out of this thing, okay? Um, so anyway... I'm gonna play probably a couple more pieces because this thing's so awesome. Because once I put it in the case, I know it's gonna sell pretty fast and then it will be gone. But let me play one more piece and we'll go over the rest of this thing. Man, I'm tempted to keep this thing. I really am, but I'm going to release it to the store here. So, all right, you got the uh, hand card mahogany. By the way, this is all handmade. This is not like, there's no machines. There's no CNC machines. It's all handmade. It's hand carved. It's absolutely stunning. These cool, really nice Gotas tuners here. Notice this. How boss this is. No, no signature. It's just the Pepe Romero headstock. No, no, nothing. There's no logo. There's nothing. You know what this is when you see this. It's the Pepe Romero special. All right. Uh, you got, this is really cool. Okay. This is, I actually checked. I've been really double checking lately. This is about one right here. This is really important on Guitar Lady. One and 15 sixteenths. This is very, very important. If you start getting too small, let's say an inch and three quarters, which is like literally like this much less, it, it affects it affects it very badly, okay? So there's almost two inches, just like slightly, slightly under, okay? I normally would say two inches, but I've been checking it really closely lately. You got the ebony fretboard, notice how boss is it? 
no fret markers. Look at this. No fret markers. Okay, this is how true players, they don't mean to disrespect anyone when I say that, but the true classical guitar players, they don't have any kind of markers on here, and Pepe comes from that line of that the best of the best, and so you just have to learn to get used to it. Now, I'll cheat, personally. You could put little dots of... Uh, uh, like liquid uh, white out <laughs> and the liquid white it comes out really easy but you could do that I probably would do that <laughs> anyway this thing's awesome there's not a radius here this is a flat flat fretboard um, and uh, what does it say inside look at this okay a oh, little Pepe I'm reading inside little Pepe 2019 literally just I think he strung it up like two days ago uh, uh, it says number 315, Pepper Romero, signed by Pepper Romero, San Diego, California. That's right where you look like the pros is too, San Diego, California. So anyway, this thing's amazing. And like I said, I don't even know when I'll ever have one of these again. It could be years before they're ever available again. So this is really a one-of-a-kind, special, special instrument. You're going to love, you're going to cherish this thing. So here at Ukulele Pros, you're still going to get the three months free premium membership or a free course at ukuleleprose.com. So you're still going to get that included. You get the Pepe warranty. Okay, you get the Pepe warranty on that. And he's in here in San Diego. So it's so cool because they can, if anything goes wrong, you know, he's he's here. He's fixes stuff. He can take care of himself, right? He can do it all himself. Um, it's really cool. Uh, you get a, I'll, I'm going to still throw in all the case candy and all the cool stuff that we get here at YouCollectThePros.com. And the case here, by the way, this, this comes from Pepe. This is actually cool. It's a really nice case. It fits really snugly. Snuggly, <laughs> snuggly, snuggly in there, and uh, I will ship this here in the lower US uh, for free. Yeah, free shipping included. Uh, if you want to do international, we can do that. We'll do that. I've done that, I've shipped plenty of things internationally as well, so we can do that. Anyway, this is really special. Trust me, uh, I'm gonna do one last piece because I don't want to put this down. This is it. This is a Pepe Romero uh, signature, handmade, custom guitar lele, although he calls them good lelies. Um, uh, this one is called Untouchable, the solid spruce top with the, uh, uh, by the way, if I didn't mention it, uh, flame maple, size back. this is a tenor length, okay, it's 17 inches tenor length on this baby, so I'm going to do one more piece because I cannot put this thing down, and then uh, we'll get on out of here. metatatias if you remember those from my guitar lessons anyway this is really a special instrument you're gonna love having this thing in your collection don't forget store.youlikethepros.com you can pick up this amazing custom pepe romero uh guitar lele galele get to lele whatever you want to call it uh, this one again is called untouchable thanks for being here thanks for subscribing thanks for leaving a comment didn't mention that but thanks for leaving a comment and uh we'll see you next time mm -hmm.